Hey guys, Kindjad here, and welcome to the Cheapskate FIFA 12 Ultimate Team Series. We really are going Cheapskate today, as I am going to play as my 150 budget squad. We are going to enter the Ultimate Cup. Now, why am I not using the last hybrid team? Like, fuck knows, I don't know. I can't believe in the budget team that much. The budget team have done some amazing giant killing acts, and they've even won the Advanced Cup by themselves before. A team that every single player costs 150 coins, no more, even the manager costs 150 coins, and I was able to win the advanced cup with him. I've not I've beaten teams that's been full of informed players with this team. It is unreal. Anyway, first game, I am against TJ Fumez, his animals team. It's on paper isn't too impressive, but Bojan is a handful as we all know. Five minutes in, Kratz has an amazing solo goal. That's a great skill from him and a good finish. Then Range Love or Rang Glove, whatever, makes it 2 0. Il Soda does a lovely bit of skill. He goes around the goalkeeper, makes it 3 0. You think it's going to be game over? Um, no, not really. A corner kick, first of all, sees my opponent score a goal back. Nobody is marking him. It was a free header. None of my players could go towards the ball. It was an easy goal. Fuck knows where the defence went. Then, Piss or Piso or whatever, he got sent off. My centre back got sent off. And then Bojan scored to make it B2. So, so basically, I mean, I was 3 0 up, I was cruising, then I was like, I, I'm, it's 3 2, now he gets two goals back, I'm down to 10 men, I'm kind of a bit fucked here. Right from the kick off, though, Ilso, look at the great skills he has. He just goes right round his old defence and he just drills it into the corner and makes it 4 2. Robertson gets a goal back in the final couple of minutes, squeaky bomb time, our arse is practically leaking at this moment, but it ends 4-3 and we have just about scraped through the first round. Now, let's look ahead to the quarterfinals, we're up against X Grants, Z, Y, Z, Z, side, whatever the fuck that's meant to mean, and it's a Serie A team. A win here would be a bit of a giant kill night on my part, you know, a goalless first half, it's a bit of even first half, I had a couple of chances of iron so did he. But in the second half, I win a penalty kick and De Rossi is sent off for a second yellow card for taking me out. Ludwig van Beethoven has scored a penalty kick, but then, um, kind of annoyingly, Diego Forlan, he gets played through and he equalises not long after. But also, I went and read what Lucio was going to do, he tried to turn with Lucio, also read it perfectly won it back off him, and then he just finished it competently into the far corner and we have regained the lead. He also then beats the outside trap, and this is one jammy fucking goal. I'm using the right stick to try and knock it forward, I'm under pressure from defenders and I'm under pressure from the goalkeeper, but I, everything works out in my favour because I, I went and press it forward again with the right stick, and it goes under the goalkeeper and into the back end. It has such a jammy fucking goal. And then also it's coming towards the end of the game, also crosses it toward the back post, Range Love is there waiting to volley into the back of the net and we win to get into the semi-final. Now the semi-final sees us up against Rasta H2K's The Citizens Team, FC Citizens. It's a premiership side, we've got Inform Ben Arthur as well, and for some fucking reason he's got Bale at left back, whatever the fuck that I means, why, why I don't know. But uh, Range Love, or Range Love, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, Range Love, scores an early goal, great work in the ball to go past the defence before Ilso lets his way, pound goal and finishes over advancing Joe Hart, so it's 2 0 already, it's just. I mean, that's two fucking goals straight off the bat. Right before half time, Ilso's played through again, he smashes it near post past Joe Hart. And then Rangelov makes sure they win. It's not even half time yet, it's just about half time. But Rangelov scores a brilliant goal. I got a little bit lucky, but brilliant, brilliant passing and moving and skills all through the move. Then I got one little bit of luck when the ball just broke me after he tried to tackle me. And what a finish from Rangelov past Joe Hart. It is 4 0 half time. My opponent gets a goal back from Luka Modric, it's a bit of a jammy goal because the ball broke to him after I fucking blocked a pass or a shot whatever and the shot, kind of, the keeper kind of saved it, almost, but then it crept in anyway, bastard. But also performs his wee party trick, you know, he, he just, he's through and goal and he scoop lobs it over Joe Hart, brilliant composure. And then also again, he scored, Joe Hart failed to win the ball, I kind of turned away from him and it's another lucky goal, you can argue. Ben Arthur scores another consolation, but I win 6-2, it's over, you know, I win 6-2, so this budget 150 squad are beating all comers left, right and centre. Now, this is where things get a little bit controversial, I'm in the final now. I believe, after this game, I genuinely firmly believe there's something like reverse handicap going on, and you'll see why as I, talk, as I explain it, but we'll start right from the very start. We're paired against ASMFC, this is way as Serie A side, 3-5-2, it's a nice looking team, nothing unique. Nothing stands out about it. You can argue I've had better sides against, you know, you know, 
you know, teams with inborn players or whatever, you know what I mean? I've, I've, I've been against better sides, you could argue. So nothing really stands out in, in particular. But, um, yeah. So, right from the start, right away, it just didn't, something didn't feel right. I mean, my opponent's got two amazing chances to score. They're not moving my players as fast as they're you know, used to them moving. They just they feel so sluggish compared to the previous games. And I've, I've won. I've still got the ball. I mean, there's nothing to do with fitness either. The fitness is fine. The morale's fine. The fitness is fine. The chemistry's fine. And yet, my players are just moving so sluggishly compared to usual. And my opponent has blown two amazing chances right at the start of the game. And then the fucking, I mean, after the fucking battle missed his chance, the CDMs will get the two CDMs. They fucking, I mean, usually one of them at least will fucking go towards the middle or whatever. But time and time again, I just found that Rubinho had all the fucking time and space in the world as both my CDMs did not want to fucking do anything whatsoever to try and win the ball back, despite it being a fucking job in that part of the pitch to basically fucking try and win the fucking ball off our team. So, you know, Rubinho's got fucking free run in the midfield, basically, you know what I mean, to pick passes out as he, you know, whenever he wants to. He's got all the time in the fucking world. Ten minutes gone. Rangelove, look at this, Rangelove gets kicked to the fucking ground, he's no touch the ball, my opponent, but it's no free kick for me. I mean, that's just, you know, okay, EA just being the same old trolls, fair enough, you know, it's the same old bullshit from EA, I'm used to that kind of shite by now. Just before 17 minute mark, I've played it ball through to Rangelove, I got a decent chance here to do something, it's one and one of my defender, or I could, like, I could run past him and try and get a shot away, but... The ball doesn't get, well, the ball kind of does get to him, but I'm not allowed to control it, I'm not really allowed to, I mean, Rangelove is like... I want to try and run with the ball in my stride or whatever, but he kind of just stands still instead and the ball hits off him and then he's able to clear it away. What the fuck? EA stopped me from actually fucking having a good attack there. I mean, because I mean, fuck all, I did wrong there or whatever and he didn't really do anything to, you know, my opponent didn't do anything either to fucking help, but it's just the fucking EA decided, no, I'm not allowed to attack. Fucking bullshit. I mean, I don't know what to do. EA are really stepping up their opponent, they're trolling, but a corner kick now to my opponent. My defender gets in position pretty early on. It also has to be a simple header away, you know. Swung in the near post, my defender's in early on to fucking knock it away, but no. Look at that shit. Chiellini, I mean, it seems to fucking go over. It's like my defender just fucking intentionally misreads it away. I don't know, he's standing there for so long, and yet he's under the fucking ball. Bullshit, and Chiellini gets a free fucking header. Fuck knows why I was not able to clear it away. Okay, you can argue that's kind of say, you know, that's standard par for the course EA bullshit. Fair enough, whatever, let's keep going then. There's fucking plenty more to go through, trust me. But, um, oh Christ, where do you start next, man? I, I don't know. Uh... I mean, I've got assisted passing on, I've got assisted crossing shooting, I went and turned everything on assisted to see if EA would fucking help anything. Aye, they fucking helped him, no me! I mean, it's just, it's bullshit. I, I don't understand, I mean, every time I wanted to block his passes or his shots, it just magically broke back to him. Look at his second fucking goal! Look at his second goal! Every time I fucking blocked anything, it just magically broke back to him. And he fucking scores a second goal because I was not allowed to fucking win the ball. Every time I fucking did something right and I was actually allowed to block it, it just went right back to the bastard! And he's got a fucking second goal. Bullshit! I mean... Whenever I fucking, whenever he's got anyone within two miles of me or whatever, I mean, if I want to fucking pass it to anyone, if he's got a player within two miles of where I want to pass it to, the ball will automatically fucking pass the ball to my opponent, rather than passing it to any of my fucking players that I actually want to. That is the EA assist. The EA assist is passing the ball from me to my opponent. It is assisting him. It is bullshit. And it happened time and time again in this fucking game. And yet, when I try and fucking apply all the pressure in the fucking world to this guy, it just a ball. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm I'm rarely blocking anything, and when I do, it just breaks back to him anyway, so I can try and start again. Fucking bullshit. I mean, look at this. I mean, he actually scores a third goal because all the pressure I'm trying to put this team. I mean, it goes. It go, I mean, I've got two players pretty much almost blocking the ball. It goes in between the two fucking players. It doesn't matter. It goes. It happens a couple of times, and then Pato he does a one. If if he knocks the ball, and then he seems to fucking run through directly through. I mean, I'm, I can't even fucking obstruct him whatever, whatever. You know, a fucking usual tactic of where if you stand the player in front of him, they obstruct him. Bullshit. I've got two players there, and Pato just fucking breezes past them like they're not even fucking there. And then he's throwing goal and he fucking scores a fuck goal. So there's no fucking wonder I'm pissed off because nothing is going my fucking way in this game. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Right on half time I get a goal back. He, he's done his absolute... I'm still pissed off about this because look at him trying his absolute fucking best to film me. He is trying everything in this... I mean, first of all the fucking block, obstruction, whatever, you know what I mean? He's just fucking throwing himself basically at me instead of the ball. I mean, no free kick or whatever advantage given. I somehow still retain the ball, whatever, try to charge through. He's holding the B button like a motherfucker. 
that's bullshit and awkward. So when I, when I hold the B button for more than two seconds, I'm instantly punished. You know, a free kick to our team. Fair enough. He basically held the fucking B button every single time I was on the ball. He, it, it was all he did, you know, it was contain and B button same time, and, he, it, and it was allowed. I, I don't know what the fuck to do about that. But look at this shit, I mean, look at this. 43 minutes gone, this is another example of fucking him kicking the shite at me and me not getting anything for it. I did a fake shot against Lucio. And yeah, I fucking, I'm basically skinned him. Lucio sticks a leg out, stabs the back of my fucking leg, and then takes the ball. What the fuck? I mean, he gets away with kicking the fucking back of my leg and getting me the fuck off the ball so he can have it. He's filmed me and he gets away with it. Bullshit. I mean, I've been from that and he fucking scores. And look at the shit, I mean, look at the, look at the fucking attack. There's like two or three fucking times where I've got players right in front of the fucking ball and yet it goes fucking through my fucking players. I was allowed to fucking block any of the fucking passes and that fucking attack is by having players right in front of the goddamn fucking ball. This happened days ago and I'm still fucking pissed remembering about this shit because this was a fucking injustice in my opinion. Second fucking half, let's look at the second half. Try my best to stop his attack and pass it to someone, you know, I mean, first of all, look at this. I fucking win the header, and I'm not allowed to run towards the ball, he just instantly intercepts it, you know, and gets the ball back. Then when I win the fucking ball, I'm forced to instantly give it back to him. I mean, I'm not allowed to pass to anyone. All his players are around, and that means that anyone I try to fucking pass to, I'll just get intercepted, as this fucking clearly demonstrates. I tap the pass button, hoping to pass it to any one of my players, and instantly picks out his fucking player immediately. It doesn't even fucking pretend to go anywhere near any of my fucking players, it's instantly towards his fucking player. Jesus Christ. I mean, it gets even worse. As you can see, the AI defender on my team, when I do win the ball cleanly and fairly and try and launch a counter-attack, the AI defender on my fucking team decides it was a brilliant idea to break his bastard and fucking legs inside the area and give him a fucking penalty. So against my fucking control, and it's not even me controlling a fucking player. The AI control player in my fucking team decides to fucking break his legs and give him a fucking penalty. What the fuck? I've done everything within my fucking power right in the kiffer. And he is still screwing the hell out of me. Amazingly, I fucking saved the penalty kick. God knows how. I don't understand the fuck. Maybe it's just EA tormenting me, trying to fucking, you know, tease the fuck out of me. I don't know why, but I was allowed to save the fucking penalty. God knows how, though. Ah, oh, it's just, it's just pissing on me off. I don't know. It pisses the hell out of me. He also gets a goal back. It's actually free too. I'm actually fucking getting back in the game here. All the fucking odds are against me, but I'm back in the game free too. The EA then fucking decides, you know, I wanted to select my last defender so I could pull him out because I knew he'd try and fucking play the free ball. And we all know AI controlled defenders have a fucking habit of running backwards to play people on side. So I was trying my best to fucking control him. There was not enough time for me to try and remember or side trap because, you know, I mean, who really remembers off by heart? Unless they fucking do it frequently and know off by heart who remembers very, you know. I very rarely try and apply the side trap, you know what I mean, in game. So I couldn't remember off the top of my fucking head. I needed to do it right there and then. I wanted to fucking change my player to a defender and I'm fucking rapidly pressing the up button and right analog stick to try and change it to my player. Nope, not allowed to fucking select that player. He keeps Pato on side. Pato runs through and goes. Fucking Pato scores and I'm fucking raging at EA for buffing the piss out of me. I mean, this is fucking stupid as hell. The fucking Pato scores with an assist from EA. Fuck you. 75 minutes gone, look at this fucking shit. First time passes from my opponent being falsely executed all over the bastard in place. I've got, I've got several players all around the fucking place trying to apply pressure, or whatever, put, put them off passes. Doesn't fucking work. It only works against me. It fucking doesn't work when I try and date to this bastard. Unbelievable. I mean, when he does, look at this, when he fucks, when he, when he actually does fuck up, he basically runs towards me, he's fucked up in the move, I should be running a fucking ball, no, it goes fucking through my fucking player, what the hell, it actually goes through my player and I can't fucking do a thing about it, he's not even skilled past me, he's just run into me and my player is like fucking, okay, my player's not allowed to fucking actually try and win the ball despite basically running into it and over it and through it, boo, fucking shit, every fucking thing just seems to fucking go for this bastard, I don't understand what the fuck I can do about it. Only wasteful finishing basically screws him up from getting another goal. It, it, it ends even worse, so, you know, after all the bullying and kicking and all that shit he does to me, I make a challenge, I kind of win the ball, but I kind of go through him as well. Instant red card, instant red card for my player, regardless of the fact it looks like I won the ball. But because I've kind of gone through the side of the back or whatever, you know what I mean, it, it's bullshit because he's been getting, he's been kicking the shite at me all game, and the referee's been saying, well, well done, that's good, well done, you kicked the shite out of that player, keep going, son, and all. What the fuck? I don't know what I don't know what to fucking do. I really do not know what to fucking do.
fucking FaceTime will get sent off. It's debatable whether it's a fucking red card or not, but considering the shit that he done to me all fucking game and everything that goes against me, it's just fucking bullshit. So I lose the final 4 2, and I'm probably going to try and enter this tournament again with the last hybrid team, whatever. It's just, it's, I mean, I, I fucking couldn't believe this fucking. This game fucking drove me to the verge of fucking insanity. Even now I'm fucking furious thinking back in it and looking back in it at the fucking injustice of EA Scream. I genuinely feel that after the pen faces. All his moaning and you know all, all, all the all the conspiracy theories, not you know about handicapping. I really feel that you know once EA kind of went, okay, you know EA kind of banned the topic of talking about handicapping in the forums and they said it's not existing, or whatever. I think EA secretly fucking reversed it, reverse handicapping at times. I mean, what the fuck? How can everything fucking work out for him and nothing seems to work out for me? I fucking. If it could go wrong for me in that game, it did go wrong. As that fucking proves, I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just some grapes on my part, but I genuinely thought the fucking whole world, FIFA world, was against me in that fucking game. My budget team did not deserve to fucking lose. I got a shite kicked to me, and the game allowed it to happen. So what the fuck are you supposed to do about that when the game's against you? This has been King Jazz. Hope you enjoyed my rant fueled episode of this of, of, of the Cheapskate Ultimate Team. See you next time. Peace out.